All right, let's get started. Let's see, my little levels are moving. Yes, my levels are moving. You guys say something. Let me see if your levels are moving. Hello, hello. Test one, two. Test, test. Five. Yep. Five, four. Yes. Three, two, two. Right. Yep. It appears to be... Omaha! 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 <laughs> we, have, we have green lines. We have green lines. Okay. Um, Demonetize. Yeah, welcome to uh, Old School Essentials. Uh, Dolmanwood. We, we usually play D&D, but... Uh, Jesse uh, couldn't make it tonight, so we're going to do... I, I don't know. I Part of me wants... I want to do a full campaign campaign of Old School Essentials and Dolman Wood. I don't know if this is it. I think this might be just a... Uh, uh, like a backup dungeon crawl game that we can just just hop over when somebody's missing... You know, when we can't play D&D. Uh -huh. and, and so instead of, like a, instead of a series of one-shots, more like a giant dungeon that... Um, whoever's there will just will just play through. You know, like we're not going to worry about oh, so you know, Chris isn't here this week. His character, you know, what happens to his character? It's just your character suddenly disappears and Jesse's new so character is, suddenly yeah. appears. So yeah. Anyway, nice. Uh, so this is the uh, the n equals four campaign, right? We have four people. This is what we play, or three three, <laughs> three people. This is what three we players. Play. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I think so. You know, okay. it might it might expand, but we'll see. Uh, for yeah. now, just just something to play uh, when Jesse can't make it or when somebody can't make it. So anyway, uh, let me talk a first. Talk about a little bit about uh, the system, I guess. Um, so. This is Old School Essentials. It's basically uh, the basic advanced version of D&D from like 1981 or something like that. Um, it's kind of weird because there's basically three different three different roles and each one you roll completely, they're, they're totally different. So the first one is an attack roll and it's just like we're used to with D&D 5e or with third edition or whatever. You roll a d20, you add your attack bonus, you try to get over the enemy's armor class, right? Uh, so that's the first type of role. The second type is an attribute check. So there's no skills, there's no feats. So you're going to do a lot of attribute checks. So if you click on the attribute in the uh, in Foundry, I think it will roll an attribute check, which is, uh, yeah, you're trying to roll over your attribute. Um, well, that's easy so, to roll zero. Yeah, you guys suck. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so that's a success because you rolled over your attributes. So, so attributes roll over. The other thing is a sa the other type of roll. Last one is a saving throw, and it is rolling under. So if you click on the saving throw, uh, it should roll. Or saving throw. Oh wait, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have them backwards. Oh, all of your attributes are zero. Okay, well, yeah, we'll go, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do this again after we have attributes. But uh, I could have them backwards. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll go over that again. So, where would you click though? Like, I don't see a save. I don't spot. either. I don't see a save throw. Uh, they're down the right side of the uh, character sheet. So there's death, poison, wands. Oh, okay. those analysis. are all saves. Okay. Yeah, those okay. are the different types of saves. Oh. Uh -huh. Um, the minus three on this bonus versus magic. Let's talk a little bit about the setting before I before we roll up characters. Um, where did I put my setting information? Okay, yeah, let me read you this little boxed text about Dolmenwood, which is the setting that we're using. So, uh, welcome traveler. The forest of Dolmenwood lies in the little frequented northern reaches of the kingdom under the rule of the Duchy of Brackenwald. Though mortals with their towns and towers and cathedrals now claim dominion over this stretch of tangled woods, fungus encrusted glades, and fetid marsh, other powers held sway here in ancient times, and some would say remain the true masters of the realm. Within Dolmenwood, the magical and otherworldly are always close at hand. Rings of standing stones loom in glades hollowed by pagan cults of yesteryear. The energy of ley lines pulses beneath the earth, tapped by those in possession of the requisite secrets. Portals to the perilous realm of fairy allow transit between worlds for those charmed or fated by the lords of Elfland. Even the herbs, plants, and fungi of Dolmenwood have grown in odd directions, absorbing the magic which infuses the place. <laughs> 
Some say that the waters are enchanted. Some say the stones and the earth are too. Step then, bold or foolhardy adventurer, into the hoary forest realm of Dolmenwood, and beware, for little here is as it seems. So basically, it's a sort of fairy tale inspired forest setting. Um, there, it's going to start in the town of Prigwart, which is the ma the largest town within the forest itself. Uh, another thing you probably need to know about is there is, the religion is there's a, there's a church called the Church of the One True God, which is sort of like Christianity basically. They 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 worship one God. However, the God is sort of vague. What they really worship are the saints, and there's a, a whole myriad of saints that the, that they worship. So. Um, there are older, stranger religions, but they're um, they're they're kind of rare, and, and the, the main religion is this Church of the One True God. Um, all right, so let's make some characters. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're going to do is roll up our attributes, um, and we are going to do that three d six down the line. Um, so the first attribute uh, actually let me get to the right place in the book yeah I'm going to be a little bit nice and say if you roll a 5 or under you can re-roll it uh, just because I'm so nice. So the first attribute is strength, brawn, muscle, physical power. Uh, this is applied to attack and damage and melee, and it also helps you force open stuck doors. Uh, so is this yes. 3d6? 3d6. 16, pretty strong. Ooh, least character's a wimp. And least character's a wimp. Oh, man. And yeah, all, all these all right. attribute saves. If you have, you have to go under it. By the way, yeah. So sa saving throws must be uh, under, and yeah. uh, attributes must be. No, sorry. Saving throws are over. These are under. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you're yeah seven, then okay. So the next yeah, one seven sucks. is intelligence, learning, memory, reasoning. This determines how many spoken languages you're going to get, and if you're literate or not. Um, Fuck. I'm not literate. Oh, 12. Okay, that's not no, those are pretty good. Yeah. I saw, guys I are, saw it. Those are not stupid. I, I'm kind of dumb. Uh, yeah. Carl's like a freaking rock star, dude. He's <laughs> strong and smart. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up is wisdom. This is willpower, common sense, perception, and intuition. It also helps with magical saving throws. I am. I'm a little bit better. Oh, I am not. I'm scared. <laughs> you, um, you're just pretty much middle of the road here so far, Chris. I'm like slightly <laughs> below average. Not even middle. I'm slightly <laughs> below average in every way. <laughs> All right. Next up is dexterity, agility, reflexes, speed, and balance. This is all. This will modify your armor class and help with missile attacks and also initiative. If we do individual initiative, which we probably won't. Um, yeah, those are not too bad. Flexible, stupid but flexible. Next, next up. Is... <laughs> 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 you like your oh, never mind. I don't know. Do <laughs> Constitution uh, is next Good up. Save. Uh, health, yeah, health, stamina, and endurance. Uh, this, is, this is your hit points. So do good. Nice. Right? Good on the oh, Carl. Carl's like a glass I'm carry. Strong, but I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, strong, but you have you're like you're like Achilles. You have one spot. <laughs> this is gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Which is everything below the neck. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, everyone's favorite, charisma. Force of personality, persuasiveness, personal magnetism, physical attraction. This helps oh, with man. NPC yeah. reactions, max number of retainers, and how loyal the retainers are to you. i got to change my character's name now with those rules. <laughs> All right, so after the next step is... Uh, let's see, okay, so... If, so if you, it says if you roll a character with a very poor ability scores, for example, an eight or less in every score, which I don't <laughs> think anybody has. So nope. don't think we have to worry about that. All right. So next up, we're going to choose a class. Um, so the available classes are as follows. And some of them might have um, requirements that we'll need to look up, but... Uh, <laughs> So you can use any of the human classes in uh, the OSC base game, which is cleric, fighter, 
magic user, and thief. Or you can choose any of the following classes from the Dolmenwood Player's Book, which is Friar, which is kind of like a uh, sort of like a cleric, but there are slight differences. Uh, hunter, which gets bonuses when uh, when foraging, hunting for food, not foraging, but hunting for food. Uh, a knight or a minstrel. Huh. So, does anyone have have a the highest is Constitution and Wisdom. So, Everything else is mediocre. <laughs> so wisdom is um, is the high is the requirement for cleric, I think. Yeah, prime requisite of a cleric is wisdom. Um, is intelligence a magic user? Yes, intelligence. What about user. what about the um, magic user? What about the the minstrel? What's their? Um, let me find. I believe it's pronounced I don't think minstrel. <laughs> <laughs> Minstrel. <laughs> <laughs> Minstrel. Where is it? Oh, I'm in the wrong book. That's why. Uh, I, I would think it's charisma, which it's not high, so I guess I'm going to be a. Uh, charisma like, and dexterity. Yeah, so I, 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 is Friar also wisdom? You Yeah, you will have the opportunity to uh, swap out uh, points. Uh, so if you let's see, uh, if you wish, you may raise your character's prime requisite by lowering other non-prime requisite ability scores. So after you choose the class, uh, of course, it's every two points that you lower, you get <laughs> one point added. But I don't have enough to lower anything. It is, <laughs> it's possible. Uh, well, is the, is Friar also wisdom? Uh, let me see. Friar, is it is it Friar is also wisdom? Yes. Is it possible to lower something and to where everything's below eight and then you need to re-roll shit? <laughs> <laughs> keep pumping it up. No. Yeah. You keep trading them back you, and forth. You just pick something that's like below eight and you just lower all the shit that's higher than that down and so your average is eight. The, um... <laughs> What's the main difference between the friar and the, the cleric as far as, I mean... So it says, friars fear. are monks or nuns who have taken to a life of wandering, doing good when they can, they are only loosely affiliated with the church and are viewed being outside the strict religious hierarchy of the clergy. Um, that sounds good. I want to be a friar. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you get uh, you get some some stuff. So we'll go over that. Um, Big stick. All right, Carl. Do you? Big I heard a magic a user for Chris. Friar for Lee. Um, Carl, uh, do you... Probably either a fighter or a knight. I would guess with these with the strength of sixteen. And. Should lower your intelligence down and just be like, ah, oh, me fight. <laughs> right. <laughs> so the knight does have a requirement of a constitution of nine and a dex of nine. Uh, I don't have the con of that. You know, well, hmm. How about the fighter? <clears throat> What's that one? Uh, let me find hey. the fighter. The 50. Fighter has no requirements. Oh, oh, everybody can be a fighter, okay. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> can be a fighter. Just sign up. <laughs> yeah. So it you so you lower two and you gain one. Is that... Yes, so you can lower let me go back to that. Let's see the knight was Dex of nine. As you may you may, uh, okay. let's see, select one of the classes bearing in mind the minimum ability score requirements of some classes. The chosen class determines your character's race. So yeah, I don't think you can, because the the con is a uh, is not the the uh, prime requisite it's it's mm -hmm. a class requirement. I don't think you can join, you can't bump that up to to meet the knight. Does oh, that okay. make sense? Uh, okay, so I'll just, I'll just do fighter then. Yeah, I don't I'm that I can't. I don't think the knight does. I don't think it gives you too much. That the this sounded fancy. Yeah. Well, you start off as a squire, so you have oh, to kind of you kind of have to pay some dues first. <laughs> no, not really a knight. Yet. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Must shovel more shit. <laughs> I got the strength for it. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. Oh, I went the wrong way. Um. All right, so did uh, let's see. Anybody want to bump up their? So you uh, you may raise your character's prime requisite by lowering other non-prime requisite ability scores for every two and one. 
Uh, only strength, intelligence, and wisdom may be lowered in this way, and no score may be lowered below nine. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Wait, so only the top three can even be low? Oh, well, that's yeah, well, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It, there, I was going to make my dexterity nine. go down, but never mind. I have yeah. strength of seven and that. intelligence of nine. <laughs> Not sure why that's a rule. But maybe they. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna note our ability score modifiers. Does it automatically add your ability score modifiers uh, on your characters? Well, I click on that little book and it has modifiers like melee minus one, open stuck door six and one and six. So if you click on the little character icon, there's a book there and it has modifiers listed. Where do you see that? So on my on your character sheet, the little place where you'd upload a picture. Uh huh. There's a little book there. Oh okay. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh okay. Yeah. Modifiers. All right. So it automatically calculates those. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, the, the wonders of modern technology. Uh, now, <laughs> attack values. Um, oh, that's okay. For ascending armor class, we're going to record our attack bonus. Um, which actually it might do that for us as well. Uh, did you pick your your classes? Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't see where it picked. I just had a spot was, to type. I it just in. typed it in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then we might have to put our attack values determined by the attack matrix. Page one thirty-five. Title. Let's see one thirty-five. Uh, resident badass. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will be assigned a title. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Attack matrix. Oh, it, so it probably figures this out because um, yeah, let's skip that for now. Um, okay, let's see what's next. Attack values. Open little boss and the other class. Uh, saving throws and class abilities. Okay, so we need to write down our saving throws and our class abilities. Um, so let's start with the fighter. Um, okay, so you can use all types of weapons and armor. Um, when you, when any time you wish, and you have sufficient money, you can build a castle or stronghold to control nice. the surrounding lands. Uh, no, okay. After you reach ninth level, you may be granted a title such as Baron. Uh, the land under the fighter's control will be known as a Baron Eagle. Okay. Level 1. You have 0 XP. You have 1d8 hit dice. Mm -hmm. um, you have a saving throw of just, we'll just go down the line, I think. This is 12, 13. For, that's a death uh, poison? Death, yeah, right death side. is 12. Okay, 12. Okay. Wands is 13. Paralysis is 14. Breath attacks is 15. And spells is 16. Okay. And you have an attack bonus of 0. Uh, and I am going to give you full hit points on first level. So just mark down 8 hit points. Oh, in the box. Okay. Alright, so magic user. Your hit mm -hmm. dice is 1d4. Oh, I, I have an eight here already. So, no, you're going to have four there. <laughs> I would like erase, to keep the... Erase that eight and place it four. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, <laughs> uh, you have... Uh, you can use... You can only use daggers. Oh, um, nice, okay. You're unable to use shields or wear any kind of armor. Um, okay. Regretting this. But... <laughs> let's see. You can uh, do magical research. A magic user of any level may spend time and money on magical resource research. This allows them to add new spells to their spellbook and to research other magical effects. And when you reach ninth level, you can create magic items. Huh. You're going to carry a spellbook containing arcane spells. Um, do I need to add this to my treasures or anything? Um, you get one first level spell. Um which we will roll for in a minute. Uh, okay. You have a plus zero attack bonus. Your saving throws are as follows. 13, 14, 13, 16, and 15. 
and let's see what page the spells are on. How many hit points do I get? Three, four. What? Seventy-three. Four. Seventy-three. Trash. Here we go. Okay, roll a d twelve. Okay. Fireball! Come on, fireball! <laughs> <laughs> oh, one. oh nice oh, was that a one? Oh, that's better than seven i thought it was seven okay. which is protection from evil which sucks okay. but yeah. uh, one is charm person that's, oh, that's not too bad let me see I, if i can drag that you over. just you just we're gonna fight things that aren't people and it's gonna be super worthless you know you just charm carl and take over his character oh that's right yeah <laughs> <laughs> Came back at the wrong time. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to do an intelligence oh. check. Oh, no, he's good. Dude, I am now Carl. <laughs> I don't have any of the spells in here. That sucks. I'm going to have to create this. I'll create the spell for you but for next time. Okay. Um, the spells are, are really good um, in this game. Um, are they like spell slots and stuff too? Uh, no, you just, well, let me, let me make sure. I think you can cast it once a day. You have one spell in your spell book and you can cast it once a day. Um, let me make Man, sure. okay, so I really need to get good with my dagger. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <clears throat> um, let's see, they, uh, the spell casting chart shows both the number of spells in the magic user spell book and the number they may memorize determined by the character's experience level. Thus, a first level magic user has one spell in their spell book Selected by the referee, uh, the list of spells available to magic users is found in 73. So, um, yeah. So you have, you can memorize one spell per day. Okay. All right. So that's it for the magic user. And finally, we'll go to the friar. Okay, your hit dice is also a 1d4. Okay. So you will start with four hit points. You Where can... do you put the hit points at? The thing that's 20. Oh, okay. I see. Four. Okay. So you can use uh, clubs, daggers, staffs, and slings. Um, let's see. You have... Uh, you get armor of faith. Friars gain a plus two bonus to armor class due to the divine blessing of the one true god. Um, at fourth oh. level, it will go up to plus three, and at eighth, it'll go to plus four. Um, you can use simple weapons. You can also employ a frying pan, a cured sausage, or even a ham shank ah. as an improvised club for 1d4. Nice. Ham shank? Just... <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you you must carry a holy symbol, um, and you must be faithful to the tenets of your alignment and religion. Um, if you fall from favor, you may incur penalties. Uh, you can actually do you can also do magical research, research and you may pray to receive spells. Um, so let's see. Okay, so you get also get one spell. Um, so your saving throws are 11, 12, 14, 16, and 15. Uh, hey, real quick, Cody. Yeah. What the, the bonus to store our hit points? Is that from our, from our constitution? Does that just go on top of that four? Do we get six max or like I have a plus two on my hit points? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, con will modify your hit points. Okay. Um, so friars also give us a better chance of foraging uh, if you're looking for edible plants or fungi. Um, and a single dose, dose of an herb uh, yes, is herb. actually sufficient for two subjects. Um, so whenever you uh, find a good herb, you can you can share. You can share. I got the good one. Uh, I mean, herb. <laughs> Um, however, you have to you have taken a vow of poverty, so you can only keep wealth and possessions that can be kept on your person or mount. 
excess must be donated to a worthy cause, not the other PCs. Oh, <laughs> I am a very worthy no, cause. Yeah. Help uh, me out here. Furthermore, a friar must dress in a simple monastic habit and must cut their hair in a traditional tonsure. So you can't be like a friar with like a, you know, like a pimp suit on or anything. It's <laughs> Fabio Friar. <laughs> Yeah, and so you can also turn undead. So um, remember that we, we'll have to look that up when you want to turn undead. But you can um, you can invoke the power of the one true god to repel undead monsters, and you're going to roll two d six, and then we're going to see if that's good enough to, to do it. To... So is all those like the spells and everything? Are those auto recorded in here? Or no, um, I'll have to create the spells. I think okay. um, unless I can, unless there's some thing that somebody's already done it but it, it's apparently not built into the system so okay this is just a fan-made one this is not official sure. uh, module for foundry um okay let's roll for your spell uh i think that was on page 73 <clears throat> okay cleric spell list roll a d8 Four is light, uh, light and darkness. So you have to decide which one. I think you have to decide which one you're memorizing. Uh, I would say light. That seems more useful. I think you can make that decision every day, though. If you. One second. As followers of a lawful religion, friars' use of reverse spells is regarded as heretical. Okay, so you don't have, you can't cast darkness, only light. <clears throat> All right, so let's roll for. Uh, okay, so we've chosen a class. We've adjusted the ability scores. We've written down set special abilities. We've rolled our hit dice. Um, okay, known languages. Um, does anybody have uh, an intelligence uh, less than six? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Okay, then everybody can at least read the common language, which is called Woldish. Um, now, does anybody have um, and does anybody have an intelligence over thirteen? I do fourteen. Okay, then you get to you get one additional language, uh, which let's see that can come out of here. I think where is it? Well, we're in the notes the notes language, section yeah. it has a drop down where you can just add them common oh, okay yeah yeah so you're uh, <laughs> this is kind of weird you're our fighter is the smartest um, <laughs> he's studied another language so uh, so you could there's probably no no way you would know liturgic unless maybe you had a maybe your family was religious liturgic is basically latin it's the the church language um, there's also old woldish which, if Woldish is English, Old Woldish is like Anglo-Saxon, right? It's sort it's sort of the same, but it's kind of weird. Um, you you don't know Druinic or Old Druinic because you do not know about the Druins. Um, you might, I don't. Uh, yeah, you can't speak fairy because uh, humans just can't speak fairy. Um, let's see. You might know some Sylvan. Um, which is like the common speech of fairies. Um, or you could, there's a whole section of Dolmenwood that's that's ruled by these uh, kind of goat people, the goat aristocracy. You could, you could learn caprice, which is the language of the goat people. Um, or you could learn gaff, which is the lower ranking, the language of the lower ranking goat folk. Or you could learn mulch, which is the moss dwarf tongue. Um, 
so yeah. many choices. Those are basically the <laughs> languages. That's, that's, let's go with the with the goat people. That <laughs> okay. sounds interesting. The high the high goat people or the low goat people? Uh, uh, Do you want to be? Uh... Yeah, you're I'm, gonna need I'm, to come up with a reason how you figured how you. Yeah. This uh, too. <laughs> so Gath might make more more sense. Uh, you could have uh, met some traders maybe when you were yeah, growing up. That, that from probably the... like... Let's do that. All right, so make Are a you note. raised on a goat farm? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Right next door. They were our neighbors. So. <laughs> some goats next door. Uh, okay, let's see. Languages. Oh, is that free milk? <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> All right, let's roll for the backgrounds from the Dolmenwood Player's Guide. Okay. <coughs> Dolmenwood Player's Guide. <coughs> backgrounds. Tried to hit mute, didn't make it. <coughs> Where's my backgrounds? Okay, everybody roll a D100 for your background. This is basically just for theme. <clears throat> 18. 18. You were a blacksmith. Oh, 30. You were a cattle farmer. Oh, maybe you lived next door to the goat farm. <laughs> If this doesn't relate to goats, I'm quitting. Uh, 74, <laughs> a shipwright. <laughs> okay. You, you, you transport of, the goats. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Ocean faring yeah. goats. <laughs> All right, so make a note of that. Uh, let's see what's next. <sighs> Roll for quick start equipment. Okay. Our quick start equipment is in the player's guide. Okay. So first of all, we're going to roll for armor. Uh, so roll a d6 for your armor. I don't roll shit, right? I don't get armor, right? Um, okay, Lee hmm. is a clear or a friar. A six. Oh, wait. Yeah, you don't get armor either, Lee. Sorry. Yeah, you don't. What? Maybe it's the the, the status of my robes. Only, you know, whether they're, they're all beat up and torn up or they're all right, clean Carl and nice. has rolled a six. You are a fighter. A six for armor is plate mail plus shield. Wow. Oh, sweet. Nice, yes. dude. You need that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So plate mail is going to give you a best yeah, armor class. Plate mail. Uh, let's see where that equipment is. I'm just putting it manually, I think. Yeah, I was going to give you the... AC? AAC? I don't know what that is. Plate mail. Your AC will be 16. Nice. Nice. Um, it, it does weigh 500 coins worth of weight, but I don't think we'll worry too much about that right now. I mean, I can see a seafaring guy wearing plate yeah. mail. Why is on a boat in the ocean? <laughs> yeah, you makes, have to figure out... It makes out. sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe you somehow came into this plate mail and this shield, and you're like, you know what? Maybe I should just be an adventurer. You know, like, yeah. screw this whole boat crap. I like, uh, go hang out with the goat people. Right, so <laughs> next step well, is I, weapons. I, I, I did have to look up the definition of a shipwright. So, what is a shipwright? <laughs> ship builder. Yeah, they built. Oh, ships. Okay. okay. Well, I could I could have built the ship for someone, and there's like I don't know how many cash. Here's some like, here's some armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a great. Or, that's, or that's, some yeah. And then you're like, hey, you know, down. I've got this armor. I might as well go adventure because I'm, right. <laughs> I'm tired of building ships anyway. All right. So next we roll on the table for your. We, okay, we roll for weapons. So, the friar will roll one time on the weapon, and you roll a d4 on your weapon table. You start with a dagger. Nice. Okay. The fighter will roll two times on the weapon table, and they'll roll a d6. Okay. Say it again. Sorry. Roll a d6, and you're going to mm -hmm. roll twice. What's the damage on the dagger? 
Uh, just a second. I'll, I'll find that. Okay. A six is a sword. And a four is a short sword. <laughs> okay. So you have Double a sword, sword and a short sword. You said I have a shield, too? Uh, yes, it does. It does. You so, do have a shield. Let me see what that does for you. Um, a shield gives you a plus one armor class bonus, so you actually have a seventeen uh, armor class. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, magic user, you roll a d four for your weapon. This you're gonna get a dagger, but this depends on this decides how many daggers you get. Oh, okay. I was wondering those. Uh, Two so daggers. You just get the one dagger. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid old ass. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons being super hard. Right. <laughs> Roll a right. two, but you get one. So yeah. you okay? Uh, you those are weapons. Now next is your basic equipment. All characters have the following items. So just write this down, and we will, we can look it up later if there's anything. So you get a backpack, a tinder box. You're gonna roll one d six to see how many torches you get, which this is could be important. Backpack. Box. Seven torches. How many? One d six. One d six. Two. <laughs> Fucking one. God damn it! <laughs> I probably get zero torches now. <laughs> like, no, that's just how many torches you get. Uh, and then you get a water skin. And then you're going to roll 1d6 again to see how many iron rations you get, which might be important. <laughs> One. Yeah. You, you said iron rations? Iron rations, yeah. I think that means that they don't go bad. <laughs> wow, you guys are not really prepared for a long trip. One ration, one torch. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a that, day trip. That's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now you get to roll 3d6 to see how many gold pieces uh, you start with. I gotta give away half of mine. Ooh, 14, 16. Wow, you guys got some cash. So you're gonna be spending some of that to get rations. 16 gold? I'm just gonna forage all my food. Yeah, Eat one of Carl's gonna live good on people. fungi. <laughs> we can slaughter one of Carl's good yeah. people and eat it. Yeah. All right, so now we are going like, hey, to... Hey, guys, come over here. <laughs> we're going to roll twice on the adventuring gear table. Uh, let's see, where's the adventuring gear? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so everyone's going to roll a d12. A seven is a ten-foot pole, wooden pole. <laughs> nice. A twelve is a small sack. Nice. Uh, seven is, is another ten foot pole. All right, everybody, roll again. What? Why do? What are these? What the fuck? I'm you get a ten foot wooden pole. Just, we can, just in my bag. We get one more small sack. We can make a basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Eight is a fifty feet of rope. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine is fifty feet of rope and a grappling hook. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Okay, and now uh, clerics and friars, friars have a wooden holy, holy symbol. And now we can optionally roll for a trinket. Why don't we do that? What the hell? Are, so we're all just walking around with like 10 foot sticks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. Maybe it's like maybe yeah. It's collapsible. Yeah, it's just yeah like collapsible cool. staff. Okay. Huh. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, you can strap it to your backpack, you know. You just, like, it's still 10 ball, feet tall. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Every tree is just smack. Just <laughs> you're trying to crawl the bushes stealthily. It's <laughs> like a flag poking up as you're coming over the hill, you know. Just poking enemies while you're crawling towards them. Um, okay, wow, these these trinkets are pretty cool. Okay, let's roll, on the, let's roll for a trinket. Um, everybody roll a D100 for the trinket. <clears throat> All right, 32. You have a jaunty cap with a feather stuck in it, which jumps up whenever anyone says your name. <laughs> that's, that's pretty super cool. Super helpful. Yeah, yeah super uh, helpful. Okay, 83. Uh, 
a pouch which feels heavy, as if full of pebbles, even when empty. Mm. Okay, that's nice. That's Look at this heavy cool. gold bag that I can trade you for all this for the. All right. Chris I, got I'm a, a flyer. I can't trick people. Oh, I'll okay. take your gold bag. I'll trade you. I can trick people. Okay, Chris, you have a sheet of parchment with a charcoal sketch of your long lost love. Oh, very nice. nice. Very nice. Okay, so that's our uh, equipment. Now we're going to let's see. Note our armor class, um, which I think you guys with no armor are going to have a 10 armor class. Let's see. I think. Change it. Let's make sure. Oh, your dexterity modifier uh, also applies to your armor class. So oh, you'll I got zero on that. Just start with a ten and then apply your dex modifier. What was that? We get ten and dex modifier for our armor class. Yes. So where's, my, where's that at? Armor class is a little shield symbol, right? Yeah, but actually, armor class is already filled in, I think, because mine yeah, won't let me modify it. My same here. It says nine. It won't let me change it. Same. Is that how it is supposed to be? Well, I can't mess with it either way. Oh, my armor class dexterity bonus is zero, and it gave me a yeah. nine. So I think it does the modifiers already. Yeah, well, I had to put in. I had to put in the armor with the armor class, and then actually equip it, and then it changed it. But it's still. Oh, 15, we don't have armor. Yeah. <laughs> right now. So it should be. I don't know how to. Let's see. Just need to do. Hmm. So I should have 17, so I'll just, I'll just edit that to make it work. Yeah. Okay. All right, does everybody have an armor class with a... I think so. Right, it's supposed to be. Um... Okay, I think that's yeah. Everybody have a name. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. what, what are what are your what are your names? Friar what? Minimus Maximus. Minimus my, uh, Maximus. My name is Modrum Average Stride. <laughs> Modrum Average Stride. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mine is Jackie Chaan. <laughs> Jackie Chan. Jackie, Jackie, all right. Jackie Chan. I'll, I'll roll some here so you can actually see the how I spell it. Jackie Chan. <laughs> all right. Well. All right. Um, Do we need to change the weapon? The weapon. I don't. Is I don't know what the damage rating is on that. Oh, damn, that's right. Weapons. Um, yeah, let's look that. Up. I'm I'm thinking the dagger is like one d forty. Yeah, I think it's at least five d two. Poison tip. I think you're close. Um, <laughs> the dagger is. Oh wait. Um. So I guess the oh, okay the base the base rule is that everything has the same damage, but here it is. Okay, uh, dagger one d four. Um, yep. That's a melee weapon, but it can also be used as a missile weapon. You can throw it. And then I, a... I, I called my dagger the dagger of ham carving. It's a range on the, on the melee? The <laughs> melee? Not... Oh, I'm sorry, range on the bottom, missile, my bad. On the 5 missile. to 10 is short range, 11 to 20 is medium range, and 21 to 30 is long range. 5 to 10. Wait, it has three 10. ranges, but it doesn't tell you what it is. So is it less than 10? 20 to 20 see. and then 21 to 30. 30. Okay. And then it, would, it wouldn't let me do this. The it's only right ranged there. weapons we have in the party. Um, all right. So we all short, have... short sword is 1d6 and a long sword is 1d8. Yeah, those are already in there. That's okay. good. Um, all right. Is that, is that everything? Is there anything else on the character sheet that looks 
funny or anything? Mm, I don't think so. All right. I guess we're ready to get started here. Uh, let me see. Is there a place to keep track of your like gold and stuff? Yeah, I think it's in the inventory uh, tab. Um, actually, let me pull up something real fast. Shoot. Where did I... Oh, did we roll for titles? Oh, no. You get your titles from your your class. Um, let me see. That's all. No. Titles are one of the greatest things from uh, old, old school D&D. &D. Um, when we played through Ravenloft way back in the day, I had a, a magic user, and I can't, I, can't, I can't remember what level I was, but my title was Necromancer, so I would always go... Just up the red, necromancer. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so feel free to use your title. Uh, let's see, fighters. Uh... Oh, well, what was my title? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's an advanced thing because I don't see, I don't see a title here. Oh, I thought we were gonna get a random roll for a title. <clears throat> yeah. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. Maybe there's not. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't find it. Um, hold on one second. Let me be right back. The abilities that he called off earlier, did y'all put them under abilities? What abilities did he call out? Well, I thought, I thought you know, like online. Like, so your spell. Where did you put your spells? Oh, I didn't do it yet. Uh, I just, he said, he, I just, said he was going to put it. He was going to okay. give it to us. I guess I, I can. Yeah, I should be able to save my I just like charm person just so I know. But yeah, I put it under notes. Yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, good point. All right, so we're going to start on uh, Chime. The sixteenth day of Simswald. So I'm gonna need you guys to roll. Uh, I think it's two d six. Somebody uh, roll a two. Yeah, roll two d six. So this is um, spring. This is the beginning of spring. So spring has just begun to take hold, and the cold breezes of winter are quickly fading into memory. So it's the sixteenth of Simswald. Let me make a note of that. Uh, somebody give me a uh, 2d6 roll. 8? Eight? Eight. 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 Sorry. Um, okay, 4. You all die. And 8. Oh, it's bright and fresh. So, good weather today. Let me find my... Okay, so you are all aspiring young adventurers based in the town of Prigwart, a bustling center of trade located in the depths of the massive forest known as the Dolmenwood. You met each other just yesterday when you were all hired by two young priests, Gary and Tobias, to escort them to the small wayside monastery called the Refuge of St. Key, located along the Horse Eye Road southeast of town. You set out at first light along the well-marked road through the forest. Okay, uh, let's establish a marching order. Who would be uh, leading this That's little probably party? Me. Yeah, a very intelligent fighter. Right, so, a Jackie. A Jackie. I, I think I'd be lead. hanging out with the priest. <laughs> okay. The friar. You know, we'd be chit-chatting business. Yep. But, you know, I'm going to be lackadaisical about the business because I'm not, like, official priest anymore. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't like to be tied down by so many rules and oversight and all that stuff. So I'm like, how's the celibacy? <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, both uh, Tobias and Gary are nice, but they're also they're kind of quiet. Like when you when you talk to them, they're happy to talk back, but they don't really you know they don't really seek out conversation. Um, Chris, do you think you'll be in the in the back or uh, are you going to be uh, near near the like near the front? Uh, just happy to be in the middle, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> All right. I have uh, six hit points. I don't know if I want to be anywhere near the front. <laughs> and my only spell is to make them like me. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah I mean, my that's dagger magic. does no damage. My dagger does. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so why don't you each kind of describe what your character looks like, and uh, you know, as they travel travel along this trail, uh, we'll start we'll start with uh, Jack, Jackie uh, at the start at the head of the party. I guess you know, being a ship builder, he's probably got a really good upper body. Uh, wearing his plate, the short sword, sword on the side, shield on the back. Um, just kind of staring straight forward, leading the party, maybe muttering some. What is it? Gaff? Is that the other language? Like practicing my gaff as I'm like. <laughs> so you have a habit of, habit of like, like talking to yourself in goat and goat speak. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be quiet and not make everyone uncomfortable. You know? Yeah, the, awesome. the priests occasionally like look at each other and like sort of look your way. Like, what the hell is that? So are you wearing? Are you wearing your plate mail? Are you clanking along? Clank, yeah, clank, I just want to clank, clank, clank. clank. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, followed by our uh, magic user. Uh, All right. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, Modrum. That's me. Kind of like Motrin, but Modrum. And um, uh, I don't. I don't actually know what I. I, I think I'm just wearing my my robes. I think. Uh, like you know, I'm, I'm like just the learned kind of kind of magical user robes and uh, just kind of. Happily plodding along, I don't know. You know, kind of spinning my dagger in one hand, my spell book in the other, and I probably drop them because <laughs> I'm not very dexterous. And uh, but I try and um, just just chilling, kicking myself for not studying harder. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then uh, next up, along with the two uh, the two priests, are is the friar uh, Minimus. Um. So. I my name came from my appearance. I, I pictured myself as a, a really, really short guy, probably maybe four feet, but really big around. So <laughs> Min- Minimus <laughs> Maximus. <laughs> right. And so I don't. I, it's more of like a waddle type walk. <laughs> What I'm doing so almost you know, a roll like remember the penguin from the, the Batman you know how you like, like that. Yeah, all right <laughs> all right well uh, so the trip is as uneventful and the priests are quiet but friendly enough when spoken to just as the sun begins to set you break from the forest and see an old stone building sitting by the side of the road above an arched oak door hangs a sign announcing in beautifully painted red calligraphy the refuge of Saint Key pilgrims welcome as your group approaches the doorway it bursts open and a wispy haired man in his 60s emerges clad in rolls of fat from a sedentary life his face splotchy and red from drinking too much ale he says greetings greetings uh, i am abbot abbot spatulard um you must be the you must be our my new monks and he he talks to gary and tobias and for a little bit and he, he motions them into the into the abbey and then he turns to you uh, thank you for your service, friends. Thank you for safely guiding them here. Um, welcome to our humble abode. Uh, here, before before we go in, uh, let, let's. Uh, uh, here's your matter of payment, and he hands each of you two gold pieces as payment. Nice. Um, so mark that down. Uh, wanna, I want to hand one back to him and say, um, "This one, can you give it to the orphans?" Oh, y- yes, we we can. Yes, um, certainly, certainly. Uh, please come inside. You you can uh, have a meal, and then a night's rest before you return to Prigward in the morning. Um, so he welcomes you into the uh, the common room. Uh, so this is a an actual working monastery, but they make most of their money as sort of like a, a wayside inn. 
um, and, and a and a basically a tavern sort of uh, setup. So there's a big wide room filled with wooden benches, trestle tables. Um, along one wall is a large fireplace, and it has a has a fire burning. Uh, even though it's spring, when it gets dark, it'll get a little bit chilly. So it has a, has a fire burning. Along the other wall are huge casks of ale. Uh, and above the casks is an oaken statue of St. Key, uh, twice life-size. Uh, he's holding his tome and his quill, and he's looking down at the guests with a beneficent but somewhat reprimanding gaze. Um, so the abbot shows you to a table. And he pours each of you a stone tankard full of an ale of the ale that's brewed at the monastery. Uh, it's a muddy brown stout he calls Keys Balm. And he smiles and says, Ah, the first one is on the house, as is dinner and your rooms tonight. Uh, he points the, uh, out the, the way to the chapel. There's a side chapel. If you'd like to pray, um, it's right that way. And uh, dinner will be served after the evening mass at six o'clock. Do, do do you have a a light lager or anything that's less uh, stouty? Um, we do serve water, but uh, it sometimes has uh, upsets the stomach. Don't okay. worry, brother. I'll drink yours if you don't want it. No, I, I'd rather drink something. <laughs> I don't want to dehydrate myself if I'm going to not drink the water. So I, I, this is fine. I was just I wasn't sure the level of the monastery. You know, I've been to some and they have a whole. Uh, uh, you know, well, plethora of options, but that's okay. This is fine. I appreciate. Alas, it. we are but a small monastery. We like to focus all our energy on to perfecting this one, this one okay. type of brew. Okay. And we no are worries. thankful for it. The yes. Lord's bounty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Praise be to the one true God. So the one true ale, apparently. <laughs> would you like to do anything before, <laughs> before mass? <laughs> <laughs> like to attempt to drink my beer. Yeah, it's 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 not bad. I mean, it's well, I just, I'm just not a, not a fan of stout, so it's a little, a little, it's a little heavy for me, you know. Maybe uh maybe your fire friend has some uh, herbs that he could sprinkle into a into it to make it taste a little bit better. Yeah, sprinkle it some, some hops. It may not taste better, but it'll get you high. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, okay. I don't care anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care anymore. Another beer. Yeah. Here's some pure THC right there. In your this, will, this will numb your taste buds and the senses. <laughs> so I forgot to ask out of character. Did we did we do our alignments at all? So I know the fire has got to be doing. Uh, yeah, you. So there. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I'm trying to say like how uh, mischief I can how mischievous I can be. I'm pretty lawful good, I would think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so alignments are a little bit different. Uh, so all beings, whether PCs, NPCs, or monsters, adhere to one of three philosophies. <clears throat> so law. Lawful beings believe in truth and justice. Uh, neutrality. Neutral beings believe in a balance between the ideas of law and chaos and in their actions tend to do what will serve themselves. <laughs> and then chaos. Chaotic beings are in direct opposition to law. These beings should seldom be trusted for they tend to act in evil ways and are utterly selfish. Chaotic characters believe in chance and that there is no innate order to life. So yeah, you'll need to pick one of those. I do think that that minimus must be lawful. Yeah. Hmm. Probably neutral. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I should just add strife to the group and go chaotic because that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> just no, very balanced. Beach. I think I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna roll chaotic. Selfish is selfish is kind of true to me, and then also it'd be funny to argue with minimus the whole time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, you chaotic. must inform me of your alignment. You don't necessarily have to tell the other players, but oh. I guess it's a little too late for that. Too late. Yep. Didn't, <laughs> I, I should have read that. Before. I don't think it will be that. I mean, it would be pretty obvious, I imagine. Especially if it's extreme. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Anything you want to do before mass? Is there anybody right. else in the... In the... Uh, yeah, there's a couple of... Uh, uh, there's a couple of... Tables are full. Um, there's some, looks like some merchants maybe that were, you know, traveling this road. 
um, and then maybe some local farmers at another another table. Do the merchants look like they would have gold or wares that would be uh, valuable to us? Uh, I mean, they look like they don't look like like you know like high rollers or anything like that. Thou shalt but, I mean, we're at a monastery, right? I mean, like, like, covenant like, their or something. Anyways. Yeah, I mean, they're they're definitely they definitely have some sort of goods they're they're taking to they're most likely taking to maybe Prigwart. Okay. You shouldn't covet their goods anyways. I'm just I wasn't going to covet. I was thinking about uh, <laughs> doing the, these are not your goods anymore. And, <laughs> you know, use my one, use my one spell sure, a day. Sure, for... in person is the same as a Jedi mind trick. but uh, <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it would be, right? Hey, right? <laughs> buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I sure do need some money. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, whatever, buddy. Anything. Yeah, we'd have to read the spell description, but. Well, I can see my character going up and being friendly to almost anybody in the bar. Maybe trying to get them to buy me another drink. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, you. Uh... He doesn't spend wealthy because he doesn't keep a lot of money, but he, like, he, you know, blesses them, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, make a make a charisma. Charisma roll. Which is horrible, my thing, but sure. <laughs> Let's just see how, how they react to you. What is this? Sorry, I missed it. He's, uh, That's a failure. <laughs> gonna try to charm a, charm a drink out of all. Uh, it's a tight, are, tough crowd. Aren't the drinks free? Is We're at a monastery. Aren't the drinks free? <laughs> we got, we got no, one. No, that's how they, one free. The rest you have to pay for. Uh, that's, how they uh, make their, that's how they make their money. Um, <laughs> Make a uh, let's see. I really don't want to charm these guys for like a roll free a d beer. roll a d twenty, Lee. Uh, so you don't get a you don't get a free beer. They uh, but uh, they're like, oh yes, the this this beer is really good. You should really like it. Is that a two? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, they were it's like, water. yeah, <laughs> you. You're you're from Prigwart, right? Is that yes? yes. Yeah, we we spent a lot of time. We spent a lot of time in Prigwart. Uh, you know, Prigwart's famous for their uh, breweries, right? The uh, there's mm -hmm. uh, six different brew houses that uh, the the city's actually run by the uh, by these brew masters. Uh, it's based this basically medieval Munich, and um, so they're real famous for their for the quality of their ale that they brew. And he's like, uh, yeah, I heard about the secret ingredient of the brewmaster's uh, prize spirits, and it's moss dwarf bones. Yeah, the the bones are procured by grave diggers uh, that that sneak into the moss dwarf villages at night, and they and they they dig up the bones and they sell them to the brewers. I I've heard about this. Like nobody knows about it, but that's pretty blasphemous. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But I mean, That's it tastes cool. really good. You can't argue with results. Yeah, well, right? I can't. Agree. I can't argue with that. You know, I'm one to like my beer. <laughs> yes, Prigward has the best. <laughs> <laughs> Too well, bad my mug's empty. <laughs> yes, they will fill it for you right over there for just a small <laughs> fee. Small, small fee. <laughs> hmm. Of course, so I, this, I didn't... this ale's not as good as Prigward's, but maybe that's because they're not made with moss dwarf bones. Speaking of that, I, I I don't know if my cup was clean or, or, or what. This just didn't didn't taste like the stout I was expecting. Can can I get a new glass? This is not not cutting it. Are you... I still have about a third left. I haven't finished it. Like it's like I just can't. I can't even finish this. I think I think I need a new glass. I'm just gonna you? take it from him and drink the third. That he's not finished. <laughs> That's fine. I, I need another. I need a glass. I, that was I, pretty I, good. Oh, yes, sir. That's uh, of course. Uh, let me let me see how much they charge for. Uh... Can't let the Lord's blessing. You don't the charge worst. when a customer is unhappy with your product. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me just see how much they how much they would charge if they were to charge. How much wood would a wood charge charge if a wood <laughs> chuck could charge wood? <laughs> Where is it? 
So are these like individual tables or is it like a big long? No, uh, like long yeah, tables. Okay. Yeah. Like a long yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking I'm just sitting there drinking my beer. And then as, as people are having conversations of like sneaking, grabbing their beers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get in your plate that's, armor. That's fighting. That's yeah. fighting shit. Right? Yeah. Get in your plate you... Yeah, make a, make a dexterity check to see how well you pull that. Oh, dexterity is like the one you rolled shitty on, isn't it? Or did you... uh, it's, uh, it's okay. No, it's Oh, yeah, right. no, you got under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah nobody, nobody seems to catch on. <laughs> like, there's sometimes people that are like, oh, well, that... wait, where? Oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah, you can have another. I must have shake my head. <laughs> right. having, having seen that, can I try that too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll make it after. Oh, all right. It's a dexterity. dexterity check. Roll, baby, roll. Woohoo! Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> nice. After right. they get their beers, I'm going to preach to the group saying, you know, the Lord protects us, but we also should protect ourselves, including our own beers. Be mindful where you set your drinks. So I get another one uh, to give to him so he stops talking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, Sir, that is that is my beer. That is my oh, beer. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I, you were right next to me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm my mistake. Here's my no. beer, my bed. Okay. My, my, warning, my warning worked. <laughs> yes. My, whose side He's are you like, on there, Friar? Watch these guys. <laughs> he motions to his friends. Watch these guys. I don't know about them. I'm All on right. the Lord side. So they, uh, at six o'clock sharp, the uh, the the um, abbot comes back and and does a, preaches a quick little sermon about uh, about Saint Key and the one true God, and you guys kind of tune out a little bit, but it, it's pretty short. And then uh, you are served a simple meal of mutton and potatoes. Um, and then afterwards you are shown to, uh, sparse but cozy cells, um, where you can spend the night, unless there's anything that you would like to do first. See if anybody around us has any, like, what they do, if they have any potential leads on jobs and things like that we could go do. That's, we're still adventurers, right? So... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is one big long table. Can we hear people talking about their problems and you know? Yeah, make a to... make a d twenty roll. Okay. See what see if you overhear. Why oh, is rolling that? Does this place have like an herb garden or anything? Yeah, they have a they have a small garden out back. <laughs> Maybe I should go out there and kind of forage and look around for anything useful. Okay. I rolled a two, but uh, roll again that's the same that's the same thing lee already heard oh you hear another person talking about this dwarf moss dwarf bones it's really a three strange. is that better uh, <laughs> those are molding so, dog dwarf you have you, five is five better? <laughs> so, 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 so you overhear these people talking about visiting a uh, a wizard named mosselmeyer druge um and apparently uh, he has plans to complete something called the Bagwell, the ba the Bagwall, and he is going to uh, enchant it to prevent any servants from the wicked Nag Lord from entering Prigwart. So I think the uh, the the Bagwall is uh, is a uh, is a wall around Prigwart that's under construction. What's the what's oh. the wizard's name? Mossamire Druge. Um, and you might have some vague memories of seeing that name on a sign or something in Prigwart, but now you know that he is a some type of, of wizard. Uh, famous wizard, or at least regionally famous wizard. <clears throat> All right, uh, you wanted to forage for in their garden. <laughs> um, yeah, for like herbs or anything useful. Yeah, Tomato. let's see. Uh, Ham steak. <laughs> uh, yeah, give, give me a d20 roll. What the hell? That's probably not something that would typically be found in a monk's garden, but a uh, six? Um, so you, you find... Uh, oh wait, this must be... Hmm. 
Yeah, so you actually find a a creeping vine of gillywort, which is really unusual because it's usually you only find that in dank cave mouths. But for some reason, it's, there's a little uh, a, a small plant of it growing in this garden. Uh, so you know that you can grind these leaves up into a, a white powder. And when you add that to liquid, it will turn a shocking purple hue if it's in the presence of poison. Uh, so you can you can pick enough gillywort to, to, to make uh, one dose of this uh, poison detecting powder. Mm-hmm. If only you had rolled the... There's many of these that are psychedelics. But oh, <laughs> next time, next time. Does he notice that? Can he come tell us? <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming I, w- I went ahead and made it into the powder, right? What happens if he uh, snorted? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> you can do that tonight before you go to bed. You have. I, I guess you have a little pestle and that you carry around with you. Yeah. Um. All right. So yeah, you spend spend the night in these little uh, comfy little cells. Um, you wake uh, in the morning to the sound of the monks' morning prayers um, and. As you kind of assemble in the tavern, uh, the abbot comes and says, "Oh, uh, how was your night's how was your night's rest?" Pretty good. Any, any night underneath the roof is better than not. Ah, yes, this is true. This is true. I, 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 uh, I assumed you would enjoy uh, camping under the stars in your profession. Oh. Uh. No, you, you, you look. Do, do you see me? No, oh, but I mean, you you could easily be an, join the church as an actual cleric, but instead you choose to wander as a as a friar. So it's much easier to reach the masses wandering. Oh, I see. I see. Ah, yes, yes. We we here at the monastery uh, let the uh, let those that that seek us, the, those that need us, come to us. But I, I can see your. He point. likes to force his opinions on everybody else, so that's what he wanders <laughs> around and does. Yes, and I am glad you are spreading the word of the one true God. Uh, here, the, I've, I have uh, the the uh, the monks have prepared these for you. Uh, he hands you some freshly made caraway buns, uh, mm-hmm. along with some aged cheese, uh, nice. and he says, "Take these with you. Uh, perhaps you can. Uh, this will provide nourishment on your on your travels back to Prigwort." Do you, do you have a couple of glasses of ale that we can take with us as well? Uh, yeah, just just along with it. this is a very nice meal, and I'm very appreciative. But <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I'm sure travel will, will make your your throat parched. Yes, of course. That's uh, he, he he gathers some uh, some jugs of, of uh, ale for you. Uh, I, I thought you were. I was under the impression you did not appreciate our. Our stout. I did not. Not. I did not uh, mean to offend. It was oh. not that I did not appreciate. It was just that uh, I was wondering if there were other options. Oh, Sorry, it's I, it, it grew on you. It has. They have. A, it has a tendency to do that. It is wet, and it is not vomit water. So <laughs> yes. Ah, that's a, this is true. Your praise. Your praise is. Yes. It's, it's, I can see that right down uh, on the review card. Yes. <laughs> Please leave, leave that on a review. Yeah. Medieval Yelp. You know? <laughs> not vomit water. Not, not vomit, vomit water. water. <laughs> yes, well, here, and uh, thank you again for your service uh, for, for helping our, our newest monks. And uh, please be safe on your travels back to, to Prigwort. Do we start waddling back? Or that's just uh, minimus. Did we start the. <laughs> <laughs> can we roll him like he like like uh, like like on uh, like an oompa loompa? No, no, not even that. I keep thinking of like, 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 like hook when when the the lost boy like picks his legs uh, up and rolls down the thing. That's what I imagine. Yeah. A roll attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, you're following uh, following the road uh, back to Prigwort. The morning passes pleasantly. Um, as you hike along the trail, uh, you pause by a small stream at lunchtime and eat some of the bread and cheese that the monks provided. It's delicious. Uh, not long after you set off, though, the trail seems to peter out into closely packed trees. Uh, you've somehow lost the main trail and have branched off onto a dead-end side trail. 
Mm. Who is with in the our lead? Ten foot sticks poking out of our packs. <laughs> yeah. Stuck in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> We're going straight to get stuck on a tree. We just yeah. turn. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, like or, bumper cars. Just holding the sticks. Yeah. Like, I got the end of, uh, you know, uh, Jackie's stick, and I'm holding the front of mine, and an envelope on the back's holding the back of my stick, and we're just like... I'm <laughs> staying away from them holding each other's sticks. Yeah. <laughs> you hold my stick! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good pacing. It's social distancing. Oh, that's right. Right. Jackie, were you not following the map? I I, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Yeah, you want to backtrack? Uh... Mm-hmm. Well, okay. how far off the trail? If we cut across here, will we hit yeah, the main trail? Just go dead east. <laughs> just pick a direction and head. Well, I mean, if do you think we're east or west of the trail? We can, like, cut across oh. country. Are we country? Or are we, like, what, what is our surroundings? Are we in the woods? Woods. We just... Woods, yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, I heard it's it's safe in these woods. They're <laughs> seems seems dangerous though to to wander with no sense of direction. That's true. I'm down. Whatever we gotta do, we can let the Lord guide us. <laughs> yeah, we got enough ale for at least a day or two. <laughs> I put these sticks away. Yeah, <laughs> I make mine two five foot sticks. That's why. <laughs> Just cut it in half. Cut it in half. I have two five foot sticks. <laughs> I guess he, you're holding it in a sword. And then you get Not somewhere where we need two ten, ten foot, foot sticks pole. all of a sudden. Two <laughs> five foot holes. <laughs> all right, so you, you start trying to backtrack. Um, but soon you find that the trail somehow also ends in a dead end. Um, what kind uh, of sorcery is this? I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying here. But... <laughs> yeah, uh, you're beginning to think you might be lost when all <laughs> yeah. of a sudden you 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 walk into like a little glade, um, sort of an airy forest glade. Oh, which reminds me, we need to somebody roll a two d six to see what the weather is like today, because it is actually. The seventeenth of Sinswald. It's an eight. Uh, eight was clear, gorgeous, bright and fresh. Yeah, so it's still another beautiful day in the forest. Um, Can't get yeah. my spirits down, but get lost. So this yeah. this forest glade is uh, wide and clear. Uh, you can't help but notice that it has this sort of dreamlike. Uh, quality mm. like an atmosphere it's almost like time seems to kind of dawdle like it just is it sort about of, lunchtime uh you it's a past lunchtime just past lunchtime oh, well this is a we, good place for a picnic we just ate yeah, yeah you, we just you ate. ate some of the cheese and the bread but i mean oh. you could eat some you can eat again i mean it's yeah. so right in the middle of this clearing though is a giant ancient gnarled oak tree uh in the center of the glade and it uh, it just reaches up just huge ancient tree um, and you can't help but notice amongst the ruins is what looks like a three foot wide hole in the in, in the in the tree itself. Hmm. Is Are there any low hanging sticks on the tree or anything? Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, you you branches foot. like yeah. trees yeah, are you made a out of. Pole, you can pull one down. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. I wanna, this is like such an old tree that would be kind of a cool thing. I mean, I, I'm working my way up to be able to make like magical artifacts. I feel like oh, this would be like a, you might a cool use it tree. In to, a, a wand yeah, like some future some thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. so yeah. You can great break off a piece of that, you know, tree yeah. bark. Yeah. You, you break off a, a limb. You For a second, you think that the tree just sort of shivers when you do that, but maybe it's just your imagination. It might have been a might have been a gust of wind or something, but. So, how, how big? How big is the hole? Yeah. So you're you're gonna look into the hole. Yeah. Yeah. So it uh it it looks like a sh- it's a shaft basically that leads down uh, twenty feet. You can actually see the bottom uh, is like a sandy floor, um, and there's there's roots that sort of form a, almost like a natural ladder down this this shaft into the tree 
Hmm. Well, guys, I think we can go down here. Should light a torch. Yeah. I don't have enough. I go over there. And I, I, I want to hold my hands up by the hole, like, and then by my waist. <laughs> <laughs> two, two of us can go down there. <laughs> You go sideways, <laughs> sideways through it. Yeah, they, somebody might have to kind of Winnie the Pooh. Push down, but... oh, oh, brother! <laughs> <laughs> you think you'll think you fit, but it, it'll, it'll be close. But <laughs> I think it's three feet. That's wow. You might have to suck it out. <laughs> Are we all going in? Sure. Is it really dark in there? Can we see? Or do we need to like get a torch? Or uh, you can, like... you can see to the bottom of the shaft, but you think it will be dark. Yeah, it's probably. So kind of like light a torch and drop it down to kind of like illuminate the yep. ground below. Maybe. Yeah, mark off mark off a, tor a torch. How many did you have? Uh, I had Jackie. three. Now I have nice. two. I mean, it's still down there. You can. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. It. But um, yeah, it it. It lands at the bottom of the uh, in the in the uh, sandy floor, at the bottom of the shaft. Are these torches replenishable? Like, if they just have like the fuel on them, that we can take them into town and get them reloaded, I guess. Mm, or are they like? I uh, think you have to buy. I think they're dis oh, these okay. are disposable torches. I think. I okay. It's not very sustainable. That's no. fine. Recycling's not <laughs> really a thing. <laughs> 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 Thou shalt not be afraid of the dark. The Lord's light will guide us, anyways. Oh, yeah. Are you googling phrases? No, no. 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 He does have the light spell, right? That's his one spell. Yeah, I do. So. <laughs> nice, nice, and that nice. we do. We should probably read the. Uh, let's read the spell descriptions because I think you can cast light on a bad guy's face or something like that. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to cut off his head to use it as a lantern. <laughs> <laughs> okay so light the spell has uh, so it has a duration of 12 turns which a turn is like an hour i think is what that i think that's what that means uh range is 120 feet the spell has three usages uh number one conjuring light in a 15 foot radius the magical light is sufficient for reading but not as bright as daylight the spell may be cast upon an object in which case the light moves with the object uh, the second usage to blinding a creature by casting the spell upon its eyes. If the target fails a saving throw versus spell, it is blinded for the duration. A blind creature cannot attack. That's pretty nice. And then the last use is to cancel darkness. If someone has cast darkness, you can cast light. What was the, the range? 120 feet. And so magic user spell, charm person. Okay. The duration is one or more days, and it also has a range of 120 feet. A single human, demi-human, or human-like monster can be uh, must save versus spells or be charmed as follow. Uh, friendship. The subject regards the caster as a trusted friend and ally and will come to the caster's defense. Uh, if they share a language, the caster may give the charmed creature commands which it will obey. Um, commands that contradict the charms, charmed creatures' habits or alignment may be may be ignored, and an affected creature never obeys suicidal or obviously harmful orders. Um, undead and human-like monsters of greater than four plus one hit dice are not affected, and the charm lasts indefinitely. But the subject is allowed to make further saves versus spells at intervals, depending upon the intelligence. Um, indefinite that's kind of cool yeah if you find a goat person i can translate for you <laughs> so i can find it i can have like a, a minion basically that's kind of what it looks like you want like, a really yeah. dumb you want a really dumb one though yeah, yeah. if they're really dumb they only get a new save every month um, <laughs> a really dumb strong minion yeah, this is my this is my uh my ballet right here yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sherpa. Carry as long as we don't make him try to commit suicide, right? He, he would defend me. So fighting is not a suicide mission. I guess. No, yeah, he would. Def it said he would defend, just not suicide. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, cool. what do you want to do? There is a torch burning at the bottom of the the shaft. Climb I'm down. down. I'm down the hole. All right. Oh. You you reach a you reach the sandy floor. Oh wait, you need to make. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, Characters without you. climbing skill have a one in ten <laughs> chance of falling and a one in six if you're wearing heavy armor. So, uh, Carl, you need to roll a d6 and try not to get a one. This would be hilarious if you died on the climbing <laughs> into the dungeon. <laughs> All right, and then everybody else will roll a d10 and try not to get a one. Why is my <sighs> nice? All right, yeah. So you easily climb down this uh, these these uh, roots to the bottom of the uh, the shaft. There, you notice that the sandy floor here has a jumbled uh, boot prints and what kind? Like Carl. Uh, Carl, what's your character's name? Jackie. Jackie. Jackie realizes right away that these are hoof prints uh, in the in the, the sand. Uh, like, oh, hoof prints. I'd know them anywhere. Um, you also notice, uh, so there are, there are earth walls all the way around, and they're, uh, they're just covered with these roots. These roots are just coming out of the... Um, let me see if we can go to the map. Without seeing too much. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, sure. You don't have any vision of the scene. Blind. Cast light. Yeah. Minimal light. Uh, <laughs> but not minimal light. Yeah. Maximum light. Minimus. Aziz. <laughs> Aziz light. <laughs> I need to find one of these goat people though, so I can have a minion. Preferably one with a bad axe. Do you see something now? No. Uh, nope. Mm. Not a... I just assumed we're fighting. It, it popped up so we do not have a token in the scene. Or, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> That's weird, because everybody should have observer on the party token. And the party token has light. You're sharing on Twitch, right? Yeah, but even my streamer uh, can't see, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I might have to do this really old school. Somebody has to keep a map. Um, I guess we can put everybody, but then don't <clears throat> go moving your guys all over the place, though. You just won't move them. You, you're the one that moves. No, I can't even see anyway. So. <clears throat> oh yeah, it oh. still doesn't see. Something's screwed up. Oh well. Okay. Well, we've only got an hour left, so we'll just somebody. Uh, if you can keep a keep a little bit of a map. Open up know. paint right now. Figure, give me my figure it out next. Engineering paper, real quick. <laughs> Okay, so there is there is one exit um, from this room. Uh, it's sort of a, t a tunnel to the east. How big is the um, room? It's actually uh, yeah, you can you you have to duck down a little bit, but it's nice and wide. Uh, even for Minimus, he can still he can fit. He can waddle through <laughs> without any problem. Uh, there are these these roots um, coming out of all the walls uh, that you kind of have to they kind of have to brush through them sometimes. But uh, you notice as you get to the bottom of the shaft though that there are uh, there's one large root near the floor that has some carving in it. It says Nolly's Kingdom uh, carved into the root. It's kind of strange. <laughs> Can I carve a heart next to Nolly's kingdom? Uh, yeah, you can do that. 
Um, make a dexterity check to see how artistically <laughs> you cut yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this is another, another Yelp review. Right? Yeah. It's us. Um, let me fix this real fast. I don't know why it's, it's a little bit there. Okay, a nine is a success. Uh, roll this. Oh wait, no. I... Oh, okay, it hasn't updated. That's what the problem is. Do any of us recognize Nolly? The name Nolly? You no. don't. No. <clears throat> Very strange. Do I know what could have? I mean, are there footprints in this area as well? Um... That I noticed. Uh, yeah, it looks like some of the the same the same kind of jumbled hoof prints and boot prints lead down the tunnel. Mm. Uh, all right, so you're following the tunnel. Yep. Okay, you get you go about fifteen feet or so, and you get to uh, a T junction. T junction. One way goes to the north, and one way goes to the south. Um, the uh, you notice that the the mossy walls here are crawling with worms. Like you just see these little worms that can just drop out of the walls. It's kind of strange. Uh, the ceiling is about six feet high, um, and then it's way up there. Right when you get, we're <laughs> like, like, like barely. <laughs> uh, laid over a root, you see a an old leather glove. Uh, no, for the left for a left hand. That's very strange. I can I can I can I take the glove? I don't have any armor. I don't think that'd be <laughs> yeah, a... yeah, yeah. No, you look a little bit like Michael Jackson now with your one glove. It's pretty cool. Fits yeah. if it's like fits, a glove. You must have quit. It's great. It's like and he and he was like the left hand of the one true god. <laughs> I will let you have the right hand next time, and we can. <laughs> Together we can both. Uh, we can hand what are twins activate? <laughs> <laughs> so, to the north, you hear uh, the distant rushing sound, like wind or water. Um, and from the east, oh, sorry, I said to the south, but it's actually to the east. You, oh, you see this sort of faint green glow, and you feel a, a kind of a warmth. Got to redraw my fucking map. Yeah, let's go oh, south sorry, yeah. slash kind of east because I I didn't leave myself enough room to the north. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we're going which way? We got east. The green glow of, of awesomeness. Okay. Okay. Nothing nefarious ever happens under the. So you continue down glow. this this sort of tunnel to the east. Uh, still a sandy floor, uh, still mossy, ro uh, mossy root walls. Um. You uh, you come to a point where uh, the the uh, the way is just blocked with all of these roots that are coming out of the wall. Um, there you can see past them, but they're just they're you know they're just like the whole passageway is just full of these things. Cut them. Yeah, like thick enough to cut through, or is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you think you tree, could. Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, you think you could slash through them. Okay. <coughs> start swinging. So yeah, as you start oh, macheting, back while he's doing that. yeah, you start macheting your way through these. You, as soon as the first the first swing, you hack some of these roots off. They hit the ground. The whole tunnel rumbles, uh, like dirt kind mm. of falls, mm. and then it kind of stops. Uh, but you've cut through enough where you can sort of push. You can sort of push through them. Um, everybody make a dexterity check. Oh, good. <clears throat> okay. Failure. Minimus. So, uh... I got stuck. Not a whole bit. <laughs> so, Jakai... <laughs> Jakai and, um... Madrone, what is it? Madrone, Mordrum, Mordrum, oh, Mordrum, yeah, Mordrum. Yeah. You guys like push Modrum. through, no problem. But as Minimus is pushing through, you know, he's got he's a little bit bulkier, so it takes him a little bit. One of these roots like s s animates and starts sneaking into your your pack, 
Um, roll, roll me a random. So randomly determine one of your one of your items, uh, Lee. It's a, well, so let's see how many items do I have? <clears throat> uh, I wrote down. Give me a second. <laughs> You can include that little pestle and mortar and pestle that I told you that you have to to make your powders if you want. Actually, you could include the powder itself, I guess. That would be one, two, three. Well, I can't count the backpack, so. No, yeah, it's not going to take your whole backpack. Small sack. All right, so oh, that was this little root grabs this small sack and starts pulling it, like, into the wall. Uh, so No, this Nick, isn't a special one. This is the, oh, okay, okay, okay. You got the ten foot stick. I got a small sack. Oh, okay. <laughs> you've got a long yeah. pole and you've got a small sack. So, roll, <laughs> so uh, you can make a melee attack against it against a, an AC of twelve to try to snatch back your pouch before it sucks it into the wall. Okay, would that just be a? So it'll be a D twenty plus your yes plus your strength bonus. I mean, there's nothing I just click on in here. Um, maybe I don't, I'm not sure. Let's see. You do a melee attack. That's the M E L to the left of that T H A C O. You click that M E L. That's melee. Oh, I see. Mm. Oh, that's and then plus my strength bonus, which is nothing. It I might, think it, it takes might automatically your bonus do it. Yeah. We should yeah. figure that out. <laughs> this is bad. Oh yeah, not good. <clears throat> oh, you got oh, it. Oh, you hit it. So that, this root starts pulling your, sa pulling your sack into the pulling wall, and you just go, Whack, give me that back. And it sort of dodges back, and, it, and once again there's that ominous rumbling. Some dirt falls, but then everything's quiet. And you're able to push your way through. Leave my sack alone. Yeah, yeah. Without consent, you can't be touching people's sacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. All right. So you continue. You continue down the the pathway. But we didn't reach. ask for consent to be traipsing through this 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 hole. So you drew a heart on there. I think that was consent. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I told him I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, you continue down this, and you come to this sort of circular. Uh, room. Um, there's again. There's a sandy floor. Still the same jumble of hoof prints and boot prints. Um, this time there's a this arched roof that's eight feet tall above you, and it's really humid and warm in here, uh, and it, like steamy. Uh, so to the uh, to the east, it content. This passageway continues on. Um, and you can feel like a cool breeze and sort of an ammonia kind of stench coming from that way. And then to the north, there is another tunnel, sort of a curving tunnel that heads to the north. Um, but as you reach this passage, as you reach this, this room, you notice that there are these faces covering all the walls and all of the ceiling. And they're like carved out of these, these roots. Uh, and they're all different shapes. There's some old codgers. There's some young pipsqueaks. There's some dashing youths. Um, and they all have this, they're covered in this glowing green moss uh, that's just covering the faces. And as you enter this, you're like looking around like, this is really weird. And then all of their eyes open. And it's all glowing red eyes. And they all say in uh, in common so in in woldish they say uh greetings visitors they all say that at the same time there's rumbling tones uh hello Good day to you <laughs> do you seek information it's always good to be enlightened yes we need only payment and you see this one root that sort of comes out of the ground. What, what is the payment? Five shiny pieces is this for information. What sort of information? Yeah, you give it five gold. You're like, it's valuable it's information. <laughs> <laughs> the weather outside is a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah 
<laughs> You've reached time and temperature. Traffic on I-95 at the, is... <laughs> at the tone, it will be 10 o'clock. <laughs> now showing at Cinemark 5. <laughs> I think I think I could I could give them a, uh, so a gold is more than one shiny, right? Like this would be they're talking like smaller coin values. Five gold, gold, five oh, gold, 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 gold. Okay, For information, well, where's the cheaper room? <laughs> you want cut rate information? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to give them money, guys, or what? I'll say we chip in. I'll, yeah, okay. yeah, I'll get to talk to some roots. <laughs> I'm worried they're going to tell us something yeah. that's going like, to like Davy Jones' locker or something. They start but playing. We, but we get back to our roots. They start playing to toy instruments. <laughs> Send me on my way. the roots. No, Send me no. on my way. <laughs> okay. I can, put in, I can put in two, I guess. Uh, 16. All right. So you guys gather together five gold yeah, yeah, and place yeah. them up. All right, so the uh, the root withdraws into the into the uh, wall. Uh, roll a d10. Who's rolling? You oh, got it. it. Yeah. Uh -oh. <clears throat> d10. Seven. Seven. Fruits of the underworld are often magical, but can twist the mind of the weak-willed. Ooh. Are there weak-willed here? <laughs> Are you roots of the underworld? No, fruits of the oh, underworld. Oh, fruits. Oh, I said roots. Fruits. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Would you like more information? The little root comes up. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I, hoping I, there was a catch, right? <laughs> can I, can I, so... I want to ask the things. Mm -hmm. I, I am a... A, a, a magically sensitive person. And, and this wow. root is very <laughs> obviously magic. How would you be offended if I cut the root and took that with me? You're cutting our root? No, I'm, I'm asking you if I can take a piece of you outside in my backpack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Cut it off. Put it in my backpack. There's a slight rumbling. It doesn't seem as blind. And then another root comes out. Would you like more information? Uh, can I? Uh, when's the last time you have prayed to the one true Lord? I would like to speak to you about the one true Lord. I would like to speak to your manager. And teach him their ways. We are not interested in the religion. <laughs> Let me There's, read the passages please, of the book. Please move along. <laughs> We'd like to reach you about your extended warranty. <laughs> <award. laughs> extended warranty. So I had the piece of root in my like. Is it just like flailing around? Like what is it? Does no, it it's 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 still. It, 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 okay. it's, it's a root. Stop moving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. If you would not like any more information, please move along. It was which nice way, having visitors. Which What's way should we go to 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 continue on? Mm, that is a decision that you must make. <laughs> but what would help you on that make that decision is information. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you store all those gold? Yeah. <laughs> Why does a tree need gold? <laughs> we like shinies. <laughs> shinies. Oh, man. Uh. Well, if we can request the in can we request specific information? And if we pay you, do you give it to us? If you roll a seven, you can roll a different one. <laughs> you can re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, that's not the answer to my question. Can, yeah, can we do nine question? more pieces of information. Uh, I, I'm willing to put more money in. I just want to know, can I request the information specific? To something? No, we are we are granted the information as it from the, comes. From, <laughs> for the fates. From the fates, fates yes. <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> That's how I was, we keep it going east. That's been that's fine. Yeah, I was I was hoping that they would we could ask them where the gold goes, and we could just go steal it. <laughs> 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 All 
All right. Okay. So you you move you move further along east, and you come to a you come to another T junction. Uh, the the passageway seems to uh, widen as you as you continue east. Um, I think. Let's see. What are you? You're probably hearing something. Nice. Does it T north south or? The so the T branches up to the north. And it almost looks like uh, it's like a almost like a chisel passageway to the north, uh, like it's man-made instead of like this natural sort of you know like roots and dirt that this mm. passageway is. Um, you can probably let me see. You can probably hear something up ahead. Let me see. <laughs> so the passageway continue east. Yeah, the so the passageway that continues yeah continues east. You can smell that that ammonia stench that seems to be getting stronger as you continue on, um, and also the the height. Not only is the passageway getting wider, but the height of the of the passageway is, is getting higher, much taller. Mm. <clears throat> but still and dark. That's, up ahead. that's the natural one though. The natural one is the one that's getting bigger. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just keep following the roots. Go to the ammonia. Go, go to the death smell. Is that what we want to do? Go to the right. one that's yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, east. If we just keep going one direction, yeah, you know, no. that seems right. Yep. All right. So you continue on, and you, yeah, you come to a. It, it's almost like at this point, it's a natural cavern, and so it's thirty foot tall, uh, natural cavern, thirty foot high. That ammonia stench is. Uh, uh, you can tell what it made it because the floor is damp and streaked with with guano guano uh, and there are these rocky pillars uh, every so often that go all the way from the floor to the ceiling um, the passageway continues to the east um, let's see uh Holy shit, Batman. <laughs> yeah, the passageway continues to the east and continues to get larger and larger. Um, and there are, you know, there are these pillars. And you can almost, looking up, uh, you can almost think that something is moving up there. There's some some vague movement near the ceiling. So if you look up, guys, don't open your mouth. Yeah, I don't ah. know if we want to trip through this um, guano. It's pretty gross. I mean, it, this looks like a natural passage. It could go on for miles and miles. So turn around? Go back. Yeah, we can go to that chiseled one that looked like more of a, you know, at least some being made that. Is guano flammable? No. In fact, ammonia would snuff out a candle. Oh, okay. And kill us. Oh, wait. Got too strong. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, guano is a natural fungicide. As well as fertilizer, it can be used as an accelerator for making compost. <laughs> it was used as a fire starter in some ancient cultures. Yeah, when you try it. Flammable. Oh, not wet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah then I just remember okay. that scene in Young Guns 2 where they're mining the guano. Do you remember that scene? Yeah. That's great. Um, yeah, okay. So you're backtracking to the, uh, the passageway, the last yep. passageway. Okay. Chisel tunnel. All right, let's see where that goes. No. Oh. Yeah, so you go for quite a ways now. Um, actually, each square is five feet. So you go for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 feet or so of this passageway. Um, they're, they're, it's made out of stone blocks. Uh, the walls and the ceilings, they're 10 foot, 10 foot high ceilings and the floor, it's all made out of these big stone blocks. Um, after, what did I say, 45 feet or so, you come to a, uh, an archway that's an eight foot tall archway and the arches are completely carved um, in the form of stacked skulls all the way up the arch and all the way over. Um, that's, that's lying, lying in the... In the arch is uh, what looks like a skeleton um, of maybe a dead warrior, um, and 
he's he's laying like in the arch and in, he's in a pool of dried blood uh let's see to the south there's that ammonia stench um and then the this passageway continues through the arch straight ahead so explosive bat shit or imminent death i'll say we go through the arch and continue that way i want to i want to say some last rites on the skeleton okay uh yeah it looks like looks like she died from a slashing wound to her right side uh she's got what looks like uh chain mail on uh you can see there's a sword um maybe a, a backpack but it's kind of hard to see without moving her moving her over is the sword the sword better than the one that carl has already uh it looks like it's the same uh, can, I, can I rifle sword. through her backpack so I can see if she's got good stuff? Yeah. Or I'll just take just take her backpack off her. She won't need it. I'll just take Respect the, the dead, <laughs> man. Respect the dead. Yeah, she ain't gonna use it, man. So it has a like... musty rope uh, with some rotten rations, which are used, which are pretty much worthless. Uh, she also has a belch, a belch, a belt <laughs> pouch with thir- with twenty five gold pieces in it. Um, so which actually, 25. somebody can somebody keep track of the treasure? yeah? I'm keeping track. Of, I have mine. I don't know. If everybody Maybe can... yeah. We might just want to keep track of all of the treasure because uh, tre- yeah. treasure is the same as XP, basic in this game. So basically, when you for every gold piece worth of treasure that you get to a safe location like a town or you know like something safe, you, you get an X. You get a, a point of uh, XP. So we were each at sixteen. So do, do we count like one of us as sixteen, or do we count all of us as forty-eight? Like how does that work? What well, what did you get the six? Oh, he gave every. Oh, I had sixteen before. They gave us two for the job. That's what it was. They gave us two for the job. Like I started at sixteen gold. Yeah, don't start. Don't count your starting gold, but like oh, you can okay, count okay. the two for everybody. So put like six, and okay, then yeah, let, me, let me add a new treasure. Then okay, this will be public public treasure. Yeah, public XP. It's like just a, a stat point. Treasure slash XP. Okay. Yeah, and we'll we, say what the money that you spent for the uh, information came out of your before the game started okay. gold, so that won't count against you. Yeah. Um, and then also there's a brass skull necklace worth fifteen gold pieces. 15. So yeah, just put that as like you'll have to sell it to get that, but that still will count towards. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Okay, thirty-one gold. So yeah, we're at thirty-one gold and fifteen gold necklace. Yeah, next adventure we're gonna be like level forty. <laughs> nice. Uh, we'll get our title. Sure. Finally, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Carl's like Baron. What? <laughs> I have enough money to start my castle. I will build it right here. Gonna, and then I'll have a mortgage this, around this guys. tree. <laughs> Going to my castle. All right. So you're continuing on the passageway. All right. So as you step through the arch, you hear the click of a pressure plate, triggering a scything blade that sweeps out vertically from the eastern edge of the archway. Uh, so we'll say Carl was probably in the lead there. Yeah. Uh, so save versus wands, please. I'm not sure why, but that's what wands. it says. <clears throat> that is. Nice. Yeah, you're easily <laughs> duck out of the way in this this sword. Like this is obviously what killed this person. It went, <laughs> and then it go, went back into the uh, uh, into the archway. Uh, but now you can see the pressure plate. The rest of you can just kind of hop over yeah, don't, don't <laughs> can we like grab something and jam it in there where the blade can't come out anymore uh, <laughs> save the next person put her, put her yeah leg, maybe like her, her old sword or something, or something. Or, yeah yeah her old sword yeah that's fine yeah yeah you can do that actually that might be a better safer thing than trying to hop over because i'm sure uh minimus is not the best uh Hopper. That's not the best <laughs> leap, vertical leap or horizontal. Yeah, leap. I, may be able to, I may be able to break the button. <laughs> Just yeah. jump on it really hard. <laughs> One at a time, throw. please. <laughs> <laughs> Weight limit exceeded. Weight limit exceeded. <laughs> All right, so you make it past that and you continue on. So now just, we need to check for traps. Yeah, we need to be more careful. In a uh, just like ten feet on, you come into this ginormous room um let's see 22 uh yeah there again it's made out of stone blocks 10 foot 10 foot high um 
all along the the left, so basically the west wall, are these statues of uh, what you, they can only be ancient kings. Uh, they're all like um, worn and crumbling, but they you can tell they have this just this mag- majesty majesty. You know, they're they're obviously warrior kings. Um, there is a uh, let's see. Yeah, there's uh, two. Let's see. There's actually there's four entrances evenly spaced or exits evenly spaced on the east side. Um, there is one exit right in the middle of the room on the west side, and then straight ahead to the north is a passageway as well. Just keep going north, or do you want to figure out somewhere? Can make a note. Make a note of this place. I mean, so the exits that are the four evenly spaced, do they look like they're rooms? Can we like peer through them and see they they are... hallways or rooms? Uh, let me see. Wait, what is Hold on, what does this mean? Oh, they are actually doors. Um so yeah, all four on the uh, on the east side are all doors, uh, and also the one on the left is also a door. They're all closed. So, what do the king statues look like? Are they lined up with the doors? Like, is a king statue facing one of the doors? No, uh, just every basically uh, every five feet along the west wall um, are these statues. Um, and okay. then right in the in the middle between two of them is uh, the middle two okay. basically is the is the door to the uh, to the is west. It, um, is it just the statues, or do they have like the actual bodies behind them as well? No, they're they're just statues. Although you do find behind the northmost statue uh, what what looks to be the an old leather boot. Ooh, um, boot. the left foot. Nice. Um, I'll- Take that with my left glove. <laughs> You're all air waddling too. Yeah. Left it, left out. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, you do notice. Um, let's see the the middle door on the um, east uh, looks to have a faint light coming from the bottom of it like it's like it's not the cracks not big enough for you to look through but you can see a light coming from that room um and then uh let's see the one above it so the northernmost door uh, on the east side um has a chalk arrow on the ground beside the door um pointing towards the door oh go here Okay. Does the uh, is the door? Can I go check the door that with the light? Is it locked? Can I feel if it'll open? Uh, it is locked. Yes. You can start to turn the uh, the handle, and it you can tell it's locked. How about I just knock on it? Are you are you knocking on it? Yep. Okay. Housekeeping. <laughs> I have your towels. Um. Candy Graham. <laughs> or Mungo. Uh, yeah, you. You. Uh, you don't hear anything immediately, um, and I'm assuming that you maybe put your ear closer mm-hmm. to the door. Just to kind of listen to see if anybody's coming, and you hear what almost sounds like snore, like a, like snoring coming from that room, like a very deep, loud snoring, like scary loud, like um, <laughs> like my character would my character be afraid of that sound? Is it a fearful sound, like a bear snoring, or is it or a dragon like, or something? Like, is, it, is it Jacob snoring, or is it? <laughs> um, it it does it does sound like more snoring than than you would expect from a human. <clears throat> Perhaps we should let this one sleep. 
I don't know what do you guys think. And check the I don't want to see what it is, but I yeah, that may be the bad. Uh... We, we knock louder. <laughs> what if we didn't knock and we just oh, oh we have to break the door? Oh yeah, no, that's, that's not very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> What if he's like really stupid though, and he could, I could charm him? We could have a point. There you party. go. Yeah. It could be. I don't think skeletons are undead. Store. Have so, to have lungs. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a chance here that we there could be somebody that we could charm to be our buddy. Uh, I, I mean, we're I'm dungeon cool. crawling. Let's go after it. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Let's yeah. Do we'll it. Break break the door yeah. down. That may be the best loot we get. New party. All right, you're break. You're breaking the door. Down. Can we try to? Can we try to pick the lock before we try to break it in? Can we try to quietly yeah. pick the lock. Uh, go, go go stealth first, and then yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me see. Or if I can't pick the lock, can I use like my grappling hook to kind of pry at the, you know, at the door jam and 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 uh, latch interface and try to pop it open. You know, like, like it was his house. All right, so Boy. you don't have any thieves' tools, so you can't do the open lock. Let's see. Can can, can I do the, the the force it quietly? Force it, you know, like with the using my grappling hook to pry the door jam away from the door latch and pop it that way for a, a much more quiet opening. I have a. Under strength, I have open stuck door one and six. Um, let me see if it has any. Uh... Rules about. Let's see. Doors. Stuck door. Lock doors. Locks may be picked by a character proficient with a locked picks or opened by magic. And that, that sounds like it. Um, well, that's that sucks. So let's see. You're gonna let's uh, why don't you give me a strength check and we'll see if you if can. you look under your modifiers, it'll say like under strength, it'll say like on mine it says open door one and six. Yeah, but I think that's a stuck door, not a locked door. Okay. Um, all right, so Jackie. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Friar. My, 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 mine was successful using my little my little grappling uh, hook to try to pop the door open at the last. I, ba I bounced right. off of it first. All right, uh, you guys, yeah, I'll, I'll, it's, not, it's no fun to just uh, sit here on this side of the door. So, yeah, you were able to... <laughs> <laughs> um, gotta get in there <laughs> quietly is what we were going for though you know like yeah so, yeah let's uh well so the two of you that made it roll a dexterity check to see how quietly you're able to do that okay yeah the dude in the plate mail was quiet uh, yeah no, <laughs> so well, you're trying to jimmy the door with a grab hook uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so the door pops open uh you're s immediately hit by this repulsive stench of diseased flesh like it oh, immediately hits you. it's just disgusting uh this this room's made it's a long narrow it's about 15 feet wide and like about 30 feet long very long uh narrow room um, again, made out of those stone blocks. Uh, ceilings 12 feet tall. The floor, everything's those stone blocks. Right in the middle is a filthy bed uh, covered with sheepskins and sackcloths. There's also a wooden table and chairs. Um, this, this, the whole room is covered with these dirty plates and dishes that are just stacked everywhere. Um, there is a... looks like a statue of a bird. And there's a cooking fire. Um, which it looks like there's a cast iron pot on top of the cooking fire uh, with something something bubbling inside of it. And on the bed uh, is is a ogre. Um, but it doesn't look like an ogre that uh, it looks like a very diseased ogre. Uh, he he uh, is just covered in these weeping pestle pestules pustules. Uh, obviously diseased and as you come crashing through the door 
he was asleep, but he kind of shakes himself uh, awake, and his eyes are just like bulging out of his face, and one eye is larger than the other, and uh, you can notice around his uh, neck is a is a uh, like a necklace with a bunch of keys, like a chain with a bunch of keys on there, and he says, "What? What? What are you? Housekeeping? What? Are you here to steal something?" No, we're here oh. to clean. We, we heard you needed help with the dishes. Oh, adventurers? Are you adventurers? No. No. <laughs> Do you have any halflings? No, Starts we're human. At, you! He points, he points at Minimus. Are you a halfling? I'm probably about three halflings wide. <laughs> so, <laughs> as he gets to within like 10 feet of you, his breath, you can... Oh. It's just this... Uh, Minimus, make a save versus breath. Oh, it's like breath attack. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a wretch attack. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, roll a 1d8, please. Oh, no. Oh, this is Heart bad. Attack. We're not even like getting fought. He's just talking to us. <laughs> oh, no. Did you roll a 3? That's the yeah. worst. <laughs> That's the worst. You suffer a minus one intelligence brain damage that's permanent. From the, oh my god. I was already mute, dumb. Now I'm at eight. <laughs> yeah. oh. it, it gave you brain cancer. Oh. He's this like, is so bad, man. I love gnomes and halflings. Oh, they make the best oh. stew. Mm. I will pay you 100 gold for a live halfling or gnome. So I can make some delicious stew. And he says, are you? And he starts He starts heading towards the rest of you. <laughs> are you a half, halfling? No, no, we back up. We back up. No, no, no. 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 <clears throat> we are human. We are human, but I will take your offer. We will find you a gnome or a halfling. We shall not do such a thing. So as you start Shut backing up. up, you notice that in the very back of the room... You hadn't noticed originally, but in the very back of the room is like these cages, these iron cages. And inside the cages are some sort of ape-like humanoid creatures that are sort of just like babbling. And you can just barely make them out. But um, but yeah, they're, they're in these cages behind him. And he says, he says, fine, go away, but bring me any halflings or gnomes. Can I can what I charm can I charm him with the charm person? Uh, He's not very bright. I mean, his... make him follow us by like twenty feet. Breathe on everything we come across. Like everybody, the smell is coming from a mile away. Just, or just give yeah. us the keys. I mean, I can make him give us the keys that apparently are going to do stuff too. Yeah. You know, you just go ahead and give us the gold. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Halflings are friends, not food. You know that kind of thing. We can <laughs> rehabilitate him. Well, that may go against his nature. Make him vegetarian. <laughs> no, no. Well, he can still eat people. Just you know, bad people or something. You know, uh, <laughs> the bad halflings are no. Yeah, yeah. Or, or I mean, even in like Nemo, they 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 still ate fish. They just tried not to, right? So, was... <laughs> so he must save versus spells. Uh, so yeah, he does have a saving throw. So are you casting your charm person? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Like, like not like in like a, a menacing way, right? Like you seem like a great. And then I can hope I can get him. You know, like, uh, um, what do I what do I do to, to do that though? You gotta uh, make that noise again. Yeah, I think you just sort of you you do your little chanting arm waving. Well, thing what do and, I what do I roll? I guess or he he rolls the same. He's gonna make a right? saving throw. Uh, which is a saving throw of 14. So the saving throws are rolling under. Is that what we decided? No, it has to roll over on um, the saving throw. Oh, yeah, that's right, because oh. you failed because you rolled a 7. Under. Okay, so he needs to roll. Uh, he needs to roll. But there's a bonus 14. versus magic. That to see what's his bonus versus magic. Where do you, where did you say that there's a bonus? under under that's like the last one you have death wands paralysis breath attack spells and then there's bonus versus magic like my wisdom is so low I have a minus one to magic 
I would have had a plus one, but it wouldn't have saved me. Oh, is that what the... <laughs> Is that what yeah. the six is? Let me see. Let me look at the uh, monster. Where's my monster? Game statistics. Yeah, because if I click like my 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 spell, if I do, I can roll it blank, or I can do roll versus magic. And I think it's different. Are you seeing which the monster saves? List? Oh no, that's the hit dice at which the monster saves is listed in parentheses. Uh, so he has six hit dice. Yeah. Okay. So I guess on his on his uh, his roll, Cody, there should be uh, against magic that you can yep. click. Yeah. When when you when we click saving throws, we have a, just a regular roll or a roll against magic. Yeah, and it does the auto. It, it'll auto do the bonus. Because like on our character sheets, we have like a mine because of my wisdom, I get a plus one okay. bonus versus magic. I think that must be included in his monster stats. Oh, okay. Okay. Because he just has a. Spell saving throw of 14, and he's got six hit dice, but I don't think that hit dice matter. It seems I'm not I'm not doing damage, right? I'm just trying to. Uh, uh, well, sometimes let me look at the spell one more time. Um... Oh, shoot, I screwed up. Hold on. So, just talking it out with these guys while you're looking at that, like, if, if he ends up being successfully befriended, do we ask him to, to, to lead us around here and we follow him 10, 15 feet behind and he can he can tell people, hey, they're with me, you know, that kind of thing, and we'll have to fight people maybe, maybe, or... Fine by me. <laughs> but All right. he, those, he, or was he things? locked in there because he's a nasty-ass... Festival field ogre. He needs you know. to roll over a fourteen. Yeah. Nice. Roll. Get a one. Get a one. Get a one. Get a one. <gasps> All right. Well, he's like, hmm. Hey. You're my friend. He goes to put his arm around. No, you. no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, we talked about this. We got to keep our we, social what? distancing. What? We have to... You don't want me to come close? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I really want to, buddy. I want to give you a hug. I understand. We talked about this, though. You don't remember. We've talked about it before. Um, so, can you lead us around the, uh, the, the tunnels and stuff here? Do you know your way around here? Hmm. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I should my manual. Uh, I usually stay here in my room uh, and play with my mutants. Do you want to meet my mutants? Are they friendly? Come, come see the mutants. Come see the mutants. It's kind of hard to get around them, though, because if you get within 10 feet of them, you have to make, you have to make sure yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You stand against the wall and let us come look at the mutants. As you get close to the mutants, they start screaming. <laughs> I mean, rattling against the cage, and he's like, oh, 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 I love it when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute mutants. Oh, adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're well, definitely stunted ape like degenerate humanoids, uh, but huh, okay. besides that, it's hard to tell. Well, does the. Do, do you want to lead us around? You you know how about you 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 show us around this area? I know you're usually in here, but can you can you can you lead us around? What do your keys do? What do, what are your keys around your neck for? Where you want to go? Oh, my! This, this key opens that door that you broke. Um, <laughs> uh, this this key opens this mutant's cage, and this key opens this mutant's cage and this key opens this mutant's cage and this key I can't remember oh it opens that mutant's cage <laughs> <laughs> okay all right hey um, i heard i heard there's a, a cell for halflings at the market that we mm -hmm. can get an endless supply of halflings for 100 gold really a li live ones Yep, yep. It has to be live ones because they're the freshest. They, and it's it's like a delivery service, so they, they bring some once a month. Halfling oh. eats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fresh halflings once a month. That would be good. 
Yeah, we just need that hundred gold from you, and we'll we'll pick it up as a gift for you. Yeah, we'll get that. gold. Let's see. I don't think I have any. What did What did you, you said you were just offered us a hundred gold to bring you a halfling? We're gonna <laughs> instead we'll do you one better and sign you up for the subscription service. Uh, um, okay, <laughs> halfling <laughs> subscription service. Yeah. Uh, how many do I have to pay? Do I have to pay for well, several you're... months in advance? Yeah, or... you're 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 at least as big as two over. Do I have to that sign that a I contract. Know. I don't like no, it's, signing contracts. Just cancel any time, but you should. <laughs> To get the right amount of halflings, you're definitely going to want at least two, two subscription boxes. You know, they're only like one portion size. You, you want more than one portion of halflings, right? So, mm. you say this so, one, buddy. This one even comes with like side, I don't know. Do you you don't have a whole lot of fresh vegetables? It's, something it's like it's called Hello Fresh Halfling. Hello Fresh Halflings. Yes, exactly. So he trenches to this this uh chest in the back and he lifts it open and he pulls out 200 gold there you go buddy just throw it in the bag at us. <laughs> no you you won't even come do i not even get a hug <laughs> if i get close enough but i don't breathe can i hold my breath and like walk up to him like how does that work uh, put a rag over your face yeah can I, can I put my head in a bag or something you know like <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, I want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. He's really nice, but he's just disgusting. Right? Yeah, it's you like... should be able to do that. All right. Okay. You... Okay. Write down 200 gold. <laughs> Hang on a second. Put that name in the door. 230. I don't... I don't really want to go anywhere. The the gnomes, the, uh, the uh, troglodytes don't like me, and I don't really get along with the, the goat people, and... Yeah, you're uh, with us now. You're with us. We, there, we got this. There are some gnomes. Uh, t- there are some gnomes to the uh, to the east. They're really good eating, but there's a bunch of them, so I don't like. I don't usually go over there. Through the back caves. Um, yeah, that's one way to get to them. I think. I don't. I don't do a whole lot of exploring since I have this beautiful place to stay here. Right. Yeah, you're you're mutant friends. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, we'll sign you up for this, uh, this you know, Hello Fresh uh, halfling. <laughs> when can and, I expect uh, my first delivery? We have to get out of here first to even sign you up. So it'll probably be a few days, but I wouldn't worry about it. You know, it'll be okay. we'll, seven, seven to ten days. Yeah, seven to ten days. You know, he yeah. pulls this like giant, like dirty, like nasty, like napkin, and he starts putting it in. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be ready. It's gonna be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So you said there were there were troglodytes too. Where are the troglodytes? Yeah, to the to the west of the troglodytes. Uh, like like we come out of this room and go through that west wall. That's towards the troglodytes. Uh, they're in, yeah, in that general direction. If you go, you you can go up to the river if you go north. Uh, that's sometimes I go up there, uh, you know, to, to drink and get some water from my halfling soup. Uh, mm. If you go north, you. But sometimes, you if you go north and and then you go west, that's where the troglodytes usually are. I don't like them. Yeah. And you said the goat people. Where are the goat people at? And the goat people are uh, down kind of to the south. If you you go go back to the uh, kind of the way to the south and then over a little bit to the west, that's where the goat people are. I don't spend much time with them. Ooh. Okay. They seem nice, but I haven't got to try them if they taste as good as halflings or gnomes. Yeah, they're kind of gamey. <laughs> 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 All right. Awesome. Okay, well, well, thank you. What was your name again, ogre friend? I, mm. I forgot your name. Um, my name is uh, George. Okay, well, it's good to meet you, George. <laughs> Can I have a hug before you leave, buddy? I squeeze you and no. Well, I, I did this thing with with some other friends of mine—a virtual high five. So I have, it's where you stick your hand up and you 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 high five each other. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Stand on your side of the wall. So, uh, no. You may you may want to go to the river and clean some of. Uh, look a little a little pimply, man. You may want to go clean yourself. It's called uh, hygiene. At some point, <laughs> maybe not right now, because I think we may go to the river. Wait a few minutes and then go. Uh, maybe and I, I'll take my mutants to the river. That would be fun. Yeah, see if they could swim. <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't <laughs> want them to drown. Well, I didn't 
You mean to throw their cages in the water? Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh, George. The cages first. <laughs> oh, I can't let them out. They, they do. They would run away. You need leashes. Oh, leashes. Good idea. Yeah, so there's also a leash subscription box. <laughs> <laughs> How much money did you have in that chest bag? What's that pet one? <laughs> Bark box? How much money was left in your in your in your box bag? Uh, not Bark very box. much. Okay, Maybe well, another. however much is left is what it takes for another subscription box. <laughs> what would I get with this one? You get leash, a different leash every month. I mean, that's like and different chew toys. I yeah. only need. <laughs> I only need four leashes. Yeah, but it comes with toys mutants. for them to play with. It helps make them happy or mutants. It's I a, don't it's want a, my mutants happy. Or a sad mutant. Sorry, they're, they're toys you can beat them with. I want the mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sticks you can beat them with and things like that. But it comes to you. The best part is it's the living. So. Well, that would be nice since I don't go anywhere. Yeah. Okay, here's, here's my last hundred gold. Nice, okay. Thank you. You will not be disappointed. When you get these, this one's this one's definitely like a ten to fourteen days. Just letting you know. So. Okay. There's not a shipping fee. No, no, no. You don't. No, we we'll cover that for you. We're friends. We're friends. We, okay. No. Thanks for visiting. Um, yeah, yeah. See you next time. I'm gonna see if I can fix my door. <laughs> yes, yeah. All right. Later, George. Go outside quickly and let him shut the door on us. I guess right. Yeah. I All sure right. hope XP is. I can't lose any more intelligence. <laughs> yeah, he, he kicked the shit out of you with his breath. Holy crap, man! <laughs> All right, let's pause there. You're you're back in the room with the kings uh, on twenty two. Uh, yeah, that brain damage was bad, but you could have got some really bad ones too. You could have got uh, worse than a permanent. Your nose grows into a tentacle. <laughs> that may have been better that than could have been cool eight, though. I don't know. The eight intelligence. No slap. Hi, hi. Would you like to hear about the one true god? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a Cthulhu priest. <laughs> Squidward. <laughs> I could have just lopped it off. <laughs> just grow back, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll 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 uh, remember you're at uh, yeah room, with the, room with the kings and. Uh, yeah, we can continue continue on uh, the next time we have a uh, an empty uh, an empty night where uh, Jesse can't play or one of us can't play. Yeah, although uh, we got to figure out something if you can't play because you're run <laughs> you're running this one, so it's you know. yeah, 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 we yeah. But that's fun. Cool. That's interesting. Yeah. George is fun. Oh, George. Yeah, I love, uh, how every, I love how every game we have. There's always some side hustle that we're working. You know? Always, <laughs> well, we gotta get or enough gold. Business so we go venture. Open, well, open this one is, it fits perfect for us. That's how we get XP. So we're just gonna be fucking walking around rich as shit and hustling <laughs> people. We're gonna put the other Abby out of business. That's right. That's right. 